I'm sitting here with Charles Barkley. I'm sitting here with Rick Moore. And we're ready to do it live. Let's go. It's Hilarious Sports Pranks, hosted by the master of disaster, Jay Johnstone. Jay's traveled around the country in search of the greatest pranks in pro sports. You'll see classics like the stinky microphone. What is that smell? The suitcase surprise. <laughs> the exploding golf ball. <laughs> and now, here's Jay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a hilarious sport prank. You know, I've had a pretty good life in baseball. I spent 20 years in the big leagues, and now I'm a radio broadcaster. Sure, I have to go to work every day, but it's a lot better than having a real job. Now, if you do have a serious occupation, for example, a razor blade sharpener or a, or a parachute packer, you may not get to pull a lot of practical jokes, especially on ball players. But we can, and that's what this show is all about. Come on. We've all seen those quality in commercials where famous people pop out of their suitcases. Well, we wondered what would happen if somebody jumped out of a suitcase when a ball player was checking into his hotel room for the very first time. So we went to Honolulu, home of the NFL's annual Pro Bowl game, to find out. Most of the Pro Bowl players spent their first couple hours in Hawaii checking into their rooms at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. One notable exception was Cleveland Brown's Webster Slaughter, who spent his first few hours on this beautiful island hidden inside a false bed, waiting to give his fellow All-Stars a big Hawaiian aloha. My mother taught me this. Webster's first guests were Denver Bronco kicker David Treadwell and his wife Kimberly. The Bellman is actually our undercover producer. Stay in here. This is Webster's daughter. Oh my God! <laughs> Didn't mean to make you jump that bad. How you doing, Dad? How you doing? All right, man. I'm hanging. <laughs> scared the <laughs> out of her. Hook line, <laughs> hook line and sinker. <laughs> Watch Kim jettison every item she's carrying. David has a more primal reaction. God! I didn't get it. I just said, uh-oh. <laughs> I I yeah, me. right, Dave. Our next victims are Sheila Ross and her husband, Kansas City Chiefs cornerback, Kevin Ross, who backpedals for his life. <laughs> At this point, Kevin has no idea why Webster just popped out of his bed. Kev's just happy to be alive. So Webb decides to embarrass his friend a little more by pointing out our hidden camera. Oh man, we got a few guys. You about the best one we got, though. Maybe so far, at least compared to the unbelievably relaxed Warren Moon. Oh, what's up, Warren, man? They don't make suitcases like they used to, man. <laughs> and the equally cool Mr. and Mrs. Dalton Hilliard. <laughs> What's up, man? But it's still early in the day, and Webb hasn't met Detroit Lions linebacker Chris Spielman and his beautiful and excitable wife, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They must have sent me through the wrong door, man. <laughs> How you doing, man? All right. Cypress, <laughs> this is my wife, Stephanie. It's Webb, she's a I'm sorry, Stephanie. But they told me the door. They told me the door on the left, but I must have went in the one on the right. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, Spielman was like, Webster slide. <laughs> the Spielmans enjoyed meeting Webster so much, they asked us to introduce him to their good friend Eddie. Let's get Eddie. Let's get Eddie. Eddie who? Murray. Oh, the guy from Dallas? Yeah. yeah. Eddie Murray, place kicker for the Lions, had a room right down the hall. So Chris called Eddie on the phone and asked him to come down and give him a hand with the problem in his room. Somebody, I don't know whose suitcase this is. What? Shit, I didn't even got that. Okay. And finally, Webster's teammate and good friend, Brown's linebacker, Mike Johnson. On a 
a bet, Mike? <laughs> Boy, you was about, you jumped out the skin, <laughs> man. Yeah, <I> did. <laughs> hey, you, you're worse than anybody I got today. And finally, Mike's wife, Deidre, discovers <laughs> the hidden camera. Oh, my God! What is this? <laughs> you know, one of the hardest things about being a ball player is during interviews. You know, after a game, you might be tired, you may have a sore spot on you, you may have lost a tough game, and even the microphone may smell bad. In fact, I have 100% pure rotten egg extract right here, and I've sprinkled a little bit on my microphones. And when you're a ball player and you do interviews, you're supposed to be nice to the guy you're doing the interview with. So let's see how these players react to my interviews. Well, the re only reason why I'm going to start tonight... You can see from the flag that Orioles pitcher Brian Holton was downwind of the smell. So I was kind of forced to move the microphone closer and closer until bingo! So young. Um... And now uh, this this camp here, and that's that's really stinks. <laughs> I know that. That's what you were doing, right? I was gonna say that stinks. <laughs> Kevin Hickey smelled something right off the bat, but he didn't know where it was coming from. Pitcher Kevin Hickey with the Orioles, and Kevin, what's in store with the Orioles pitching staff this year? But <laughs> it's kind of stinky right now. I mean, we're. we're <laughs> Does this microphone smell kind of funny? Yeah, it smells funny. I just, I just gonna say that to you. It smells like like you. <laughs> We're gonna send Tony down for a nose job, okay? Because obviously he could not smell this microphone because this is the worst smelling microphone I've ever had in my life. That's the microphone just turned. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was you, man. I was gonna say, I was gonna go these day. I'm trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> you do you said you did it. What did you eat last night, man? Hello, everybody. This is Jay Johnson with Dodger catcher Mike Sosha here in Vero Beach as spring training. Mickey Hatcher's in the background down, providing the comic relief. To start the season. Mike, a short spring training, has that ha hampered you at all? Well, you know, it takes a little time getting ready. <laughs> it's breezy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it sounds like, it sounds like you were ready. Much to our surprise, some guys like Johnny Oates, Mike Paul, and Bucky Dent didn't even smell a thing. Either I'm not doing my job, folks, or these guys got a lot on their minds and they got some real bad noses. So we tried increasing the dosage. We need to be a little stronger. Hello, everybody. This is Jay Johnson for Inside Baseball. With me, outfielder Jesse Barfield with the Yankees. Jesse, a lot of fun in right field off to a slow start. Uh, what can you tell us about the Yankees this year? What is that smell? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> with me, Roberto Kelly, outfielder for the New York Yankees. Roberto was short spring training, but you're off to a pretty good start. Um, good year for you? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Hello to baseball's funniest Frank show. <laughs> Funny smell, huh? What is that? <laughs> Bad, huh? I have to have to do this for two days trying to smell this thing. I don't have any problem with saying this. Right, yeah. <laughs> I can see you now. <laughs> Oh, my eyes are killing. Are we rolling? Hello, everybody. Jay Johnstone with Baseball Today. With me, Dave Stewart, premier pitcher with the Oakland A's. And Dave, a short spring training hasn't hurt you any. Well, I don't think it's hurt. You know, but I've been working out since uh, December 1st, so it hasn't been really been a short spring for me. You know, a lot of guys. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> 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 Come back here! Come back here! Come back here! <laughs> Come back! Yeah. This is Japanese actor Tony Masa. In this prank, Tony pretends to be the Japanese Bob Costas on an overseas assignment in the USA. The rub is that Tony's asking questions that don't make sense in any language. 
Uh, uh, I ask you question. So just relax and have a good time, please. Uh, <laughs> what not shovel on give and get for fast block driving uh, bucket? Uh, uh, high post player, see no evil. High post player, see no evil. High post player, see no evil. Uh, speak of evil. Speak of evil. New Jersey Devils. New Jersey, New Jersey Devils. Devils. Tough team. That's a hockey team. That's a hockey ah. team. Hockey. They play hockey. They play on the ice. We don't play that. Basketball? We play in the Nets. Uh, New Jersey Nets. No New Jersey Devils. Uh, Devils are hockey team. Okay. New York Knicks? Uh, New York Knicks. New York Knicks. Knicks. How can we win more but have the same number of player? <laughs> Let me see a question. Three point shot make game US wide more open. Mm. If you have good shooters for the three pointers and the pros. Oh. Uh, can I talk to yeah. you? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, you're not doing it right. No, no. Yeah, now we got some sound. Come on, come on. <laughs> how, how about the triple triples? What? Triple triple? Triple triples? Japan want to be good basketball power. How we making big cheese? I, I, I'll tell you what you do. For the right price, I'll play for y'all in the 92 Olympics. 92? I'll yeah. play for Japan in the 92 Olympics for $5 million. And I know that'll be just a chip off the old block to you guys. Because y'all are please the, the no, one we, one we will Message. play for you guys in the Olympics in 1992 for $10 million. We'll split, split that. Split the money. In Japan, coach take Kane to Work you hard, huh? Well, no, uh, no, 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 hit. Can, you mean no. the coach can, can hit the players? Can, can. No, no, hey, no. I tell you what, since the coach can hit players, I want $10 million to play in the Olympics now. We want $10 million per player, we're going to get hit now. Mm. Uh, basketball and the sumo uh, is very similar. Similar. Come, come on, Rick, let's run into the coach. Similar. <laughs> 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 Well, he'd be the perfect sumo wrestler. Uh, why? He got the butt. Why? Because he's got a big butt, and he's a fat pig. Uh, pig or? Uh... Fat, big, big hog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hog. He's a hog. He's a hog. Hog. He's a big man. Aren't you enjoying this? Great. Hello everybody, Jay Johnstone in the Yankee Stadium dugout to talk to you about what else? A football prank. You know, some of the pro bowlers over in Hawaii for the game went out to play in the U.S. Army golf tournament to help boost the morale of the troops. But no one was worrying about the morale of the football players. So we gathered our prank crew in a case of exploding golf balls. You know, the NFL players are a pretty confident bunch, but in this tournament, they really amaze themselves. Not every player fell for this gag. There's the switch. Yeah, I get it. Uh, uh, come on, Come on. <laughs> time? Uh, come on now, you got, you got something on. <laughs> You don't know your own strength. Hey, you destroyed that ball, man! Yeah. 
Can I have a mud? We'll play that one. <laughs> Mammoth power! Hot! <laughs> 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 Great trick. Great trick. Thank you. Where do you get those things? Ron thinks the prank is over now, but he doesn't realize that we've just thrown him a second phony ball. <laughs> <laughs> you dogs, you know? Yo! <laughs> Philadelphia 76ers superstar Charles Barkley is seldom at a loss for words, but he had a hard time catching his breath when hilarious sport prank sent Morgana, the kissing bandit, for a surprise courtside interview. This is when the fun begins. This is a great, a great thing. Thank you. You're wonderful. The best of luck to you and the team. Charles had a triple double this game. Maybe Morgana inspired him. Here we are in beautiful Yankee Stadium a couple hours before game time as the players prepare and take batting practice. And our next prank is about to take place right here. We call this next prank, Let's Take a Powder. The concept is very simple. I'll be standing right about here conducting an interview with one of the Seattle players. This horn will be laying about 10 feet behind me. Now, we've enlisted the aid of another Seattle player to get one of his teammates to come up and blow this horn and bust up my interview. But little does the horn blower know that we've doctored this horn with talcum powder. So when he tries to give it a blow, he gets a face full of powder. Here I am with Seattle pitcher Dennis Powell, and the horn is about, oh, 15 feet behind us. That's pitching coach Tony Ferraro, who really thinks he's going to scare the heck out of us. In fact, somebody told him that the second camera is there to catch my reaction. Actually, it's really there to catch his. And here he comes. Some of the Mariners are rolling with laughter, but it took me a second to catch on. <laughs> Look at Tony. Powder went all over his <laughs> come here, come here. You know, there's two really important elements in making a successful prank work. One is you have to draw them into your setup and keep their minds occupied. And second is you have to do it without arousing any suspicions. And sometimes the results don't always turn out the way you want them, but it can be just as funny. And that's exactly what happened with the Cincinnati Reds last week when we tried to pull the take a powder trick. Watch this one. The man on the right is actor Shiv Kempka, pretending to be the Bob Costas of India. Norm Charlton and Randy Myers know that this is a fake interview designed to get Tim Burstis to blow the horn. At the end of the interview, Shiv asks one of the players to read from the Indian cue card and another one to toot the lucky horn. That's part of the station identification, but Tim's not buying. And if the other one of you would please blow, we have the famous horn of good luck of sports. And you it go is ahead. blown. No chance. Before, no before. chance. So okay. I'll read this. The biggest guy. Can, no, I'm not blowing that, blow that, that horn. Yeah, you the are. And now if you would please blow the famous horn of competition. And if you hold it up, please, and blow. Try it first. Why don't you try it first? I blew it. Just blew it one more time. No. We'll let him do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not we'll do it one more time. Do it. No. I have a. I don't think it's a, I have a sore throat. throat. Yeah, I think, I think he'd prefer to do it. Mujee, Jet, Salt, 
समझ मी नहीं आ रहा है थैंक यू वेरी मच इज वेरी काइंड मुझे ये सब समा मी नहीं आ रहा है ओके आई न्यू दैट वाज कमिंग आई न्यू इट वाज कमिंग दैट्स राइट Who else can we get? Young youngsters and How about Mike Bordick of the Oakland A's? You know, you get you get a rookie every year with that. <laughs> You get it right here. Jack is set this up. Man, go go get him the towel. Our next prank is an oldie but a goodie. It first happened to Brooks Robinson when he was sitting on the dais at a banquet. Brooks kind of hungry, reached for a roll, but a second too late he found out that his teammate, Mo Drabowski, had put a boa constrictor in the bread basket. Such as this. Now I'm sitting here at the Cypress Creek Marriott in Fort Lauderdale, spring training site of the New York Yankees, where the food is really great here, and I'm waiting for a few of the Yankees to come over and join me for an interview and dinner. And the specialty of the house is reptile rolls. So now let's see how these Yankees act when they go to grab a roll. Oh yeah, bring them good rolls. We invited the players to be interviewed for a fictional show called Baseball Today. After a few questions, we broke for a fictional commercial and brought them out some fictional roles. Yeah, let's see. 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 let Oh, yeah, man, bring them rolls. Bring them on the like, yeah. like the way y'all got this Thanks. set up. Huh? I like the way y'all have this set up. It's Perfect. Nice. Yeah, I just, we just want to make it casual. Idea. As I should say, I'm wearing Levi's, man, nice and easy, relaxed, to get, you know, have dinner. <laughs> Willie, you're in charge of the rolls. Go ahead. No, I don't want any rolls. Genie, Go ahead. Genie. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, you got it. No. Uh oh, man. No. <laughs> no, man. I thought it was a damn rattlesnake or something at first, but I, I like boas. I have no problem with these. Willie, where are you going? Now, what if I wanted to roll? <laughs> oh, you had a big, saggy roll. We had so much fun with Willie and Van that we decided to try it again. Go ahead, Will. I, don't want to, I still don't want no bread. I, roll, man. I, I see they rolls, man. I don't want to get too full, man. Too full? I'll take a roll, man. You take a roll. You want to roll? Get you want me to take a roll? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't gonna jump. I see they're right color, too. Oh, man, that's too much. <laughs> 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 That snake should go on. That poor snake, I tell you. Man, that snake, man, that snake out of here, man. Oh, you guys are bad. You'll be here all night. You're bad. How much time we got? We got a little bit of time? Huh? Can we eat? Can I have a roll? Let's have a roll. Let's not have a roll. Hey, that thing's real, Jay. Well, hello, buddy. We'll be right back with more from Deion Sanders and Mel Hall. Here we are at the beautiful Cypress Creek Marriott in Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> Florida. And uh, take it away, sponsors. <laughs> you, you ain't got a brain. <laughs> oh, man. They got, they, got, they got pretty good food here, huh? All right, they got some pretty good food. Good rolls. <laughs> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna 
If they have a strike in football, I'm going to be a scab linebacker. A scab linebacker? Yeah. What, what do you got? A little, like, how much time we got? We got time to eat a couple rolls or something? Yeah. Know what I told Dion? I'm going to be a walk-on. I told Dion, I'm going to be a walk-on. I'm going to go to Atlanta Falcons cap, and I'm going to say, That was about a 4 hey, that's about 418. Hey, you know black people and snakes don't get along. <laughs> After the prank, Mel said he wasn't scared at all. Let's go back and take a look. I'm going to go to Atlanta Falcons cap, and I'm going to say... <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite. Mel Hall is hiding in the background, and I'm having a heck of a time keeping my eyes off the basket. Yeah, we, can act like, we can act like we're butter and roll or something, huh? Heck, what <laughs> is that? <laughs> That's it for our show. For you razor blade testers and parachute packers, please don't try any of this stuff on this job. In fact, everyone, please be very careful because pranks aren't funny if somebody gets hurt. Now, I know you were expecting me to be the victim of at least one practical joke, but it's my show. Hey, maybe next time. For now, from Hilarious Sport Pranks, goodbye and thanks for watching. There is one last prank we'd like to show you at a senior league baseball game in Florida. Jay conspired with Lenny Randall to present Kenny Landro with a cream pie in the middle of an interview. At the last second, Lenny decided Pitching, to prank uh, uh, the prankster. Tell me a little bit about Lenny Randall. Oh, Lenny, he's a great leader here, you know, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> And now, and now, uh, well, Ash, I guess that you don't have to tell me too much about Lenny Randall. I just wanted to say he was a great guy, but after that, oh my. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Jay Johnstone for Inside Baseball. With me, outfielder Jesse Barfield with the Yankees. Jesse, a lot of fun in right field, off to a slow start. Uh, what can you tell us about the Yankees this year? What is that smell? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Me, Roberto Kelly, outfielder for the New York Yankees. Roberto was short spring training, but you're off to a pretty good start. Um, good year for you. All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hello to baseball's funniest prank show. <laughs> Funny smell, huh? What is that? <laughs> Bad, huh? I have to do this for two days trying to smell this thing. I don't have any problem with saying this. Brother. <laughs> I can see you now. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are chilling. Are we rolling? Hello, everybody. Jay Johnstone with Baseball Today. With me, Dave Stewart, premier pitcher with the Oakland A's. Dave, a short spring training hasn't hurt you any. Well, I don't think it's hurt, you know, but I've been working out since uh, December 1st, so it hasn't been really been a short spring for me. You know, a lot of guys, uh, what's the matter? <laughs>